Well, well, well. A tournament. And first prize is the handed marriage of Princess Flame? <laughs> Last tournament first prize was a frozen turkey. They must be trying to cut costs. Evil Knights numbers one, two, and three, I have a plan. Illuminate the dim recesses of our criminal brains, old Dread Count Jeffrey, oppressor par excellence of thee, etc., etc. You shall win this tournament, and then I will marry Princess Flame, thereby becoming Dread Prince, Count Jeffrey, heir to the throne of Camelot! <laughs> Well, what is it? Spit it out. Well, if that was only the end of a plan. What about the middle bits? You know, but you tell us how we're going to win the tournament. Uh, must I do everything for you? Uh huh. Uh, right, yeah. Yep. Oh, very well. I call forth Merle, the wicked sorceress of Castle Threadbare and official sponsor of the 1096 Olympic Games. <laughs> what now? I'm right in the middle of my weekly ugly treatment. I want you to use your evil wiles to create a foolproof disguise for evil knights numbers one, two, and three, in which they will... Oh, it's a long story. I'll give you the details right after practice. Bombs away! <laughs> Poor Princess Flame. Dread Count Jeffrey is certainly no prize. And can you imagine what the family reunions will be like with that crew for in-laws? Oh, oh, on the rack Where spiders and cockroaches play Any second now, Sir Loungelot will... will... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm stuck here forever, alone and forgotten Doomed to die a horrible, lonely death Flame, what a relief! Don't be too certain. I've searched and searched, but I think the key to this place was thrown away a long time ago. Flame, do you think you can bring me the magic net? Um, yes. A hundred prisoners chained to the wall, a hundred chained to the wall. Please, hurry! Potato is missing. Where could it be? Amazing, isn't it? I'll say. Do you know? You look exactly like a potato. I'd stay away from fish and chip shops if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a critic. It's no use without a source of potato electric power. Don't worry, Flicker. After 30 or 40 years, this place really grows on you. So does the mole. Right, Presley? Hey, a four-leaf clover. That means good luck must be coming our way. Not unless you've got a crop of potatoes growing back there. No, sorry. Just joking, Presley. <sighs> Rackers the one always grows the spuds. They seem to thrive in the acidic growing conditions. Bless your mouldy little heart. Aha! Well, so then, Flicker. Drop in again when you can stay longer. I've been stretched out on the rack here for almost 40 years. Flame, wait. You, you saved my life, and well, thanks. You're a real pal. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. You can win this silly tournament and rescue me from Stepmother Griddle's latest crack at finding me a husband. <laughs> as a lowly squire, I hardly qualify as Princess Handwinner material. They'd never even let me sign up. But one day, if I am good and honest and... <clears throat> I hereby dub you Sir Mystery Knight. Just keep down the visor and no one will be the wiser. But, but Flame, I can't. Uh, I mean, I would if I could, but I can't impersonate a knight. Code number 511 clearly states, a dragon shall never do impressions. Ow! <laughs> Maybe he'd pay me more mind if I were a giant potato. Flame? Flame! Make room, make room! All oh, Lancelot, you've brought the, uh... 
potato Sally. You almost baked him, you don't. Well, Flicker, what does Princess Flame think of all this hoopla and fal da -dow? I wonder why Princess Flame hasn't spoken to me lately. Yes, uh, got the lighting of the torch ceremony over with, have we? Ah, here come the blandly handsome and well-muscled hopefuls. That's right, ladies, take a good look. This is a long chance to see them with all their teeth. Father, really, this is so... Romantic! A bevy of handsome and rich and handsome beefcakes sweating and grunting and bashing each other over the heads. Muscle-bound warriors locked in a desperate contest to win my... Um, that is Princess Flame's hand in marriage. Oh! Ah! My dear little Puff, ah, it seems like only yesterday you were but a tiny babe in my arms. Children grow up so quickly. Come on, everyone, do the wave! Well, not all children, perhaps. We have a late entry, Toast Fans! Oh. oh, it's a mysterious black night. There aren't many of those left anymore. You're such a lucky girl. Flame? I'll never forget the time you took your first little wobbly flight. 